We read today from John chapter 1 verses 19 to 28. And these verses contain the first day in the Gospel of John immediately after the prologue. The prologue of John is in John chapter 1 verses 1 to 18. And the witness whom John speaks about in his prologue, namely John the baptizer, John the Baptist, is the one who appears on the first day of John's gospel. Because in John chapter 1 verses 19 to 28, this is how the evangelist explains John appears as a witness. What does John do on the first day of his appearance? John does two things. The first, he shares with people who he is not. And the second thing he does is, he shares with people who he is. Who is John not? John is not the Messiah. John is not Elijah. John is not the prophet. Who were these three characters? Very clearly, the Messiah was the one who was anointed by God, who was to come into the world to redeem God's people. Elijah was the prophet who was going to prepare the way according to Malachi. And the prophet was a prophet like Moses who was also expected by the people at that time. So John is very clear that he is not any of these three, not the Messiah, not Elijah, not the prophet. In the second part of his identification, John speaks of who he is. And John is very clear that like God asked him, he is the voice of the one who cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. So he is a preparer, he is a precursor, he is one who goes before and he also witnesses to the Lord by his life. What do these two parts, one is where John says who he is not, and where John says who he is, say to us about John. It says very clearly that John knew exactly who he was. And second, that John was content with being who he was. John was not a man who craved for titles. John was not a man who craved for importance. John was not a man who craved authority. John simply wanted to do what the Lord had asked him to do. And with that, he would be content. Today, there are so many of us who are not content with who we are. If we are tall, we want to be short. And if we are short, we want to be tall. And if we are fat, we want to be thin. And if we are thin, we want to be fat. We look at ourselves and we dislike ourselves. John is telling us, accept yourself as you are. Glory in yourself. Know your role in the world. And once you know what God wants of you, do it to the best of your ability. There is no need for you to compare with anyone because comparisons are odious. There is no need for you to be better than or less than anyone. Simply be who you are. If you want to give the greatest glory to God, you can do it in the simplest of ways, but which is not really simple. Be yourself. If we are ourselves, like John was himself, when he knew who he was not, and when he knew who he was, and did what he had to do to the best of his ability, then we are glorifying God for ourselves, and we are glorying in our selfhood. Let us learn from John to be content with who we are and never compare ourselves to anyone.